this problem is sort of a what I call a busy problem. It has a lot of things to, to absorb, but if you could focus in on what's important, you'll find that this problem is not difficult at all. Because all it's really saying is tell me the truth value of that statement, not P or Q. So really we're just trying to evaluate that statement. What makes it more difficult is there's so much information in front of you. But they are telling you what the statements P and Q are. This is the statement P. It says more couples who live together as a substitute for marriage were married five years later than those who were living together but just dating. We have to figure out if that's true or false. If it's true, we put a true in for not for up to P. And if it's false, we put in an F. Same thing with Q. The statement Q is more couples who lived together as a trial marriage were split up five years later than those who were living together but just dating. Again, if it's true, we put in a T for Q. If it's false, we put in an F for Q. So in theory, it's very simple. But don't try to bite off too much information at once. If we're trying to find the truth value of this statement right here, then what we should do is focus first on P, decide if it's true or false, and then do the same for Q. So let's focus on statement P. I'm breaking it up into pieces. It says more couples who live together as a substitute for marriage. And if you've looked at these charts that they've given you with all the color coding, that's where you have to look to see if this is true or false. So they're talking about um, whether those couples were married five years later or not, more or less of them were married five years later than those who were living together but just dating. So what you're going to focus on is that married is red. And when they said and when they said as a substitute for marriage, they were talking about this set of bars right here. This applies. So we're looking for the red bar in the as a substitute for marriage grouping. And we want to compare that to those who were living together but just dating. So that's this last column. They were living together but they were just dating. Now you don't have to get into how they divided these categories up and how they decided who went into what category. You're just trying to make it simpler, not, not more difficult on yourself. So when it comes right down to it, because the first statement talks about the couples who live together as a substitute for marriage, you know you're working with this grouping. And because the second part of P talked about those that were living together but just dating, you know you were, you were looking at that last grouping. So everything in the middle is totally irrelevant. So you're, you're trying to focus in on what's important and get rid of the excess information. And in both cases, you're looking at the married grouping. Um, you're comparing the people who live together as a substitute for marriage to see if they were married five years later. So you're looking for the red column. Comparing those that used it as a substitute for marriage to those who live, were living together but just dating and comparing how many were still married five years later. So you're looking for the, red, the height of the red bar essentially in the first grouping versus the height of the red bar in the second grouping. So, what does that tell you? Well, the first red bar is not higher than the last red bar. So, P says it is. P says the first red bar, that's this one, is more than the second red bar in the second grouping. Remember, we're just looking at this grouping compared to this grouping. The other two groupings did, did not matter. P says that the red bar in the first grouping is bigger than the red bar in the last grouping. And that's not true. So we've just figured out now that P is false. So after doing that, we can put in a false for P. And then we move to Q and do the same sort of thing. Q is taking a look at uh, couples who live together as a trial marriage. That would be this grouping. And comparing them to uh, those who are living together but just dating living together but just dating. 
So the statement Q is making a comparison between the third and fourth, or the last two groupings. So the first two groupings don't really matter at all to us when we're looking at Q. Q says that more in the third grouping, that's the trial marriage grouping, were split up. Well, split up is the green. So they're asking us to compare the height of the green bar in the, in the uh, trial marriage grouping to the green bar in the just dating grouping. So we're comparing the trial marriage grouping to the living together but just dating, dating grouping and we're looking at the ones that are split up five years later and split up is green. So as I said, we're comparing the height of the green bar in the third grouping, the as a trial marriage grouping, to the height of the green bar in the last grouping, which is the just dating grouping. Q says there are more in the trial. That there's, Q is saying that the green bar in the as a trial marriage grouping is higher than the just dating, dating grouping, and you can look and see that's true. So Q is true. So as it turns out, P is false, Q is true. Now, of course, not false is true, so we end up with a true or with a true, which is true. So that original statement, not P or Q, based on the information we were given, the statements P and Q, and all the graphical information, based on that, this statement, this given statement, is true.